Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. As a part of today's video, we'll explore one concept which is nothing but a developer console. You might be wondering, I've been using developer console for a while and you might be thinking, what is the point of going through the video again? Yes, you are correct. If you have used Salesforce, you have at least used the developer console. But what if you have to give the access to the developer console to another profile? How do you do it? What are the permissions that are needed for the user to access the developer console and use that for either writing the query or creating classes or components? How do I enable a developer console to the users who are not system administrator users? How do we do it? Those are the points that we'll be exploring as a part of today's video. Without any delay, let's get started. I'll quickly switch to my Salesforce hall. As a part of today's demonstration, I'll be using this test user. This test user is connected to a cast sales profile. This is the profile for which I wanted to expose the developer console or enable the developer console for the users to use. It. So you might be wondering what is the scenario where I need to give up access to a developer console. So the answer to that is not all projects would allow for system administrator access in the higher orgs. That is why they will be creating a custom profile which would have few options compared to your system administrator profile. If you are an admin and you have to give an access, you need to know which permissions that you need to give so that the user would be using those access which is meant to be used. You are not over giving it or you are not under giving it. So that is where you need to understand which permission works in terms of enabling your developer console and also exposing the other things that is needed. Now, so this is the profile custom sales profile that we have that is connected to the user. Now what I'll do is I'll switch to the user and let's see how exactly the screen looks for them. So this is the test user that I was talking about. If you remember, the developer console would come from this drop down. If you are not sure, I quickly switch back to my Salesforce normal user. And if you see here, this is where I see a developer console. Yes, I am in lightning. So the point is we can see a developer console here, but not in the, but not for the test user that we are looking at. This test user doesn't have that drop down. How do I enable this developer console to this user? For that, the first thing that we need to do is go to the profile, the profile for which the user is connected. In case if you want to give it to just user, then try building a permission set. If you want to give to the bunch of user, go with the profile approach. Now, if the first permission that you need to enable is click on, go to the profile, click on edit, and that is where the first permission that you need to provide is view all data. So if you provide this view all data, if you provide the view all data, automatically few permissions would be enabled. One of that is view setup and configuration. So once done, click on save. Let's see what so I've provided the permission call. As of now, the first permission that we have provided is view all data. That is the permission that we have given to this profile. And I'm clicking on save. Let's go to the user and see what is the difference that we would see. If I refresh this page, now few things are enabled here. One is your developer console, other is the setup. Since you are focused on the developer console, let's go ahead with the developer console here. So now what I would do, I'll click on this developer console here. So as soon as I open this developer console, I am seeing an error message saying that API is disabled for this user. That means just giving the view all data would not solve your issue of enabling the developer console. In order to use the developer console, there is one more setting that we need to give, which is API enabled. Even though I can see the developer console, the user is not able to do anything. So let's go ahead and fix that issue also. What is the permission that you need to give? The permission that we need to give is API enabled. So this is the permission that we need to give. So let's go ahead and give this access as well. I'm checking this tick box, saving it, and going back to this user to see if there is any difference here. Now, if I refresh this developer console, I would be able to see the developer console loaded without any error. The API error was gone. So two things that we have done, view all data and two is API enabled. 
Now, what is the next thing that we need to check? So since I have the developer console open, let me write a quick query and see what would be the results here. I'm writing a simple query of select ID from account and I'm clicking on execute here. If you want to give the access to the user to write a query and see the results, you need to provide the API enabled access as well. So these are the things that you can keep in mind. Now let's explore this part of, so if you see here, I'm not able to see this new button enabled. Yes, I can see a class from the developer console. And if I make a change here and save it, if you see, it is saying save is failed. You do not have the permission to save this file. So I'm able to, I'm able to open a class, but I'm not able to save those changes. What if you want to enable that permission to the users as well? Right. Again, remember, we would not provide such access to all the users. We are doing it just in case if your project demands you to create a custom profile and then ask the developers to use that custom profile rather than a system administrator profile. These are the settings that you can explore to give them the right access. Now, what is the issue here? We are not able to allow the user to author the Apex or we are not allowing the users to make the changes on the Apex classes. So for that, what we need to do, we need to give another permission which goes by the name which goes by the permission author apex all the changes all the changes that we are making is on the profile again remember if you want to give it at a permission level you can also go ahead and do that as well so let's find for our author apex let's check this checkbox and see if the user gets access to create or make changes to the apex class refresh this one on file and now if you see here as soon as i have enabled that permission i am seeing this new button enabled what it is allowing me to do it is allowing me to create a class trigger and look at other things but this visual force page and visual component is both disabled so if you see here we have file new and i can see fx class here i'll say dev console we are able to create a fx class here now, how do I enable this visual force page and the component? For that, again, we need to go back to our admin screen. As a system admin, I'm logging in as a system administrator. The toggle between the tabs is nothing but I'm using my admin access to provide those access. So the one thing that we need to do is, so if you see here, there is a permission called customize application. That is what we need to provide. Let's go ahead and do that. Check this checkbox. So once that is done, let's go back to our user, refresh the screen. And if you see file, I now have a bunch of options which are expected, which is class, apex triggers, and visual force pages, components, and now you can also see the lightning components as well. So this, this is how you can extend the access for the users to create classes, triggers using your author apex and for visual force pages and lightning you need to provide the customized application permission for them to go ahead and do it so that is the end of this video hope you have liked it in case if you have any questions feel free to add a comment and we'll get back to you with a new video happy learning if you have liked this video do like share and subscribe to sftc quest do let us know on which topic you wanted us to make a next video on Hey guys, if you like this video, do like, share and subscribe to SFTC Quest.